Welcome to this video on back titrations. Have a go at reading the question. Pause the video and once you're ready, press play. So we have a 1.2 gram sample of silicon tetrachloride. However, it's impure. We want to know what is the actual mass of silicon tetrachloride so that we can work out the percentage purity. Now, to work out mass, we need to know moles and MR. We can already work out the MR of silicon tetrachloride using the periodic table. It's 170.1. However, we don't know the moles. So, this sample is placed into a beaker with 250 centimeters cubed of water. Now, we can see from the equation that when silicon tetrachloride reacts with water, it produces a precipitate and hydrochloric acid. Here we can see that the solution has turned into hydrochloric acid and we also have a silicon oxide precipitate. From this 250 centimeters cubed, a 25 centimeter cubed sample is taken and reacted with sodium hydroxide, requiring 18.7 centimeters cubed of a 0.1 molar solution. Remember, we're trying to find out the moles of silicon tetrachloride. So, let's see, we can work out the moles of sodium hydroxide and that's going to be done by doing concentration times volume divided by 1000. That gives us 1.87 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Now, we should know that when sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid, that reaction is a 1 to 1 ratio. Meaning that the moles of hydrochloric acid is also going to be the same. Now this is in the 25 centimeter cubed sample. Our original sample was 250 centimeters cubed. That means we have to times the moles by 10, giving us 1.87 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Now that we know the moles of hydrochloric acid, we can use the equation above to work at the moles of silicon tetrachloride. Since it's a 4 to 1 ratio, all we have to do is divide it by 4. So dividing by 4 gives us the following. Now we know the moles of silicon tetrachloride. So we can times moles with MR to work out mass, and that gives us 0 0.79 grams. So that means in that 1.2 gram sample, there was only actually 0 0.79 grams of silicon tetrachloride. So now to work out the percentage purity, we're going to do 0 0.79 divided by the whole mass times 100. And that gives us 66%. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.